zebra finch, the bird that has been evolved since Australia over long ago of 200 and 300 years before this finch drops up to 100 and 150 meters to fly over and it can mount it can mount itself near the west coast of Timor which prompted them to make landfall on the island so the morphological differences between these species is something between the zebra finch and the white zebra finch so these are the two birds that has been planted that has been domesticated in one house it's not a that domestic discovery this house is full of domestic videos taken care by none other than domestic discoveries owner there are plenty types of finch birds and this sound of finch bird the lovely hum that it does is exceptionally a cyclic of what finch bird is about so if you take a look at the life expectancy of zebra finch the best bird that you can ever buy is this one it lives normally when they are kept caged it lives around nine years to 10 years that's what the average lifespan of maximum amount we can say and in case of uh, heavy rainfall heavy kind of natural formations that could tweak this bird to a bad condition of health it could live since five to nine years but may live as long as 12 years that has been the most recorded finch bird with an exceptional case of 14.5 years for a caged specimen the greatest threats to captive zebra finch survival or predation by cats and loss of natural food. So the threat is the cat and the natural food. The natural food, if it, if it does not have the natural food to be taken, the finch bird dies as soon as it doesn't take a natural food or if it has been ta taken down by some cats or some domestic dogs. The next part of the finch bird is of course its playfulness. Everybody wants to see how it plays, how it has its own mechanism. So zebra finches usually are very loud singers actually. Their calls can be a loud beep. It's meep, oi, hurrah, that is how they sound. Their song is a few small beeps leading up to a rhythmic song of various complexity in males. So male and female does matter with the captiveness and also the diet the drinking and the bathing of finch bird is very important they usually eat grass seeds feeding most of a semi-ripe seeds so they are completely veg eaters they are not gone for something a non-vegetarian it's supplements like the extra food if they are not healthy enough they could take insects mainly ants and termites caught in short flights from lookout perches but you know if you are nesting it with home you're you're ca taking a car in home in a cage you gotta only give some pulses some rice some grass some seeds that is what the food is all about because you cannot take insects to flock it inside it so in the breeding season small or medium sized flocks are common but in the non-breeding season flocks up to 500 birds may be formed but right now if you take a look at domestic discovery they have only two birds very very decimated right only two birds very cute to look out there they just build their own nest take the papers get into the nest and i will be actually sharing one of the nest video just to wait until the end of the video because we are gonna have that nest taken care video also so the main part is eating and food diet is very mandatory for a bird like finch because finch the bird's name itself is always the cutest the finch is first formulated since Australia, French, France and everybody who started from the Eastern Europe to Western Australia. Everywhere these birds travel in flock. So somehow finch bird is said to be one of the cutest birds out there in the, in the history of birds nature domestic.